This is a short video on uh, tripod mounts uh, for your GoPro or um, or any action camera. Um, these are GoPro style uh, style tripod mounts. Now you have this traditional one, which is um, plastic. You can get this very very cheap. Uh, it looks like that. Uh, which I noticed uh, it's a very good tripod mount for the price cheap if you damage one of these it's just under a dollar a pound uh, to get another one a replacement one so they're not too bad it has a wide base as you can see uh, to show you on this tri mini tripod see and it fits quite nice on there now if you're using a 360 camera uh, something like um, the Insta360 One or the Insta360 One X this kind of tripod mount if you were going to put it with an adapter like this I'll show you with an adapter like that now that will go into the 360 here Okay, it's got a one a quarter inch thread here. Now this kind of setup with this, I'll try my best to show you. If you can imagine uh, your camera on here, I have got a Insta three three sixty camera, but uh, it's uncharged at the moment because I've been doing some filming in the daytime and the battery's gone dead so I can't put it on here at the moment but anyway if the camera is sitting on here because this is not aligned as you can see you can actually see it yourself it's not aligned to the center of this your pole this is I'm just using this as an example this folding tripod but as it say this was your pole it's not in line plus the base is a bit wide so you, it might sharpen your shots, like so. Here's a, here's a pole that I have used with my Insta three sixty one. So I put it to the side, and as you can see, normally if I screw the Insta straight onto here. Uh, it will this will disappear but if I didn't have this kind of pole or I had something like this for instance where I can power my Insta360 360 at the same time it's an offset you see that's an offset if you imagine a, a dotted line straight line through here this is offset so what I did buy is one of these now this is a tripod mount but this is made out of aluminium and as you can see this compared to that one is not offset it's dead straight so that is so straight the whole the middle of that hole the middle of that hole will line up with the middle of this hole and that can be screwed on there now if you put that mount On here it's a bit difficult so bear bear with me because it is a bit tricky when you right it's just a bit tricky to put that on as as you can see on them really tighten that up that's take a lot of tightness to do that but anyway this will be sitting dead straight you can actually see it now if you look at that thread on the three quarter here compared to the thread of the thumb screw compared to the middle it's all in one line so this would be really good for a 360 camera and uh, to get this kind of tripod um, fitting here if you needed it so I suggest if you're looking for a, a tripod adapter mount, 
try and get this one because this one is quite good plus the footprint that it leaves is very small compared to that look at that to that and remember this is plastic with a metal uh, screw thread placed in it so over time this could wear as you're constantly tightening it, this will eventually even though it's got teeth if you I, I can't think I could pick it up on camera but it's got teeth in there to grip it inside but after a while as you're turning to keep turning this these teeth will start to wear this plastic so eventually this will be useless but this this will last you a lifetime because it's all out of aluminium uh, what I'll do is in the description I'll leave the actual name of this tri uh, tripod mount uh, so you can pick it up as I said it doesn't cost this costs one pound probably a dollar uh, this just cost me about 150 to 175 well worth it so this is a video about the different tripod mounts